Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Budget with Cat. On this channel, we do everything, savings, budgeting, um, savings challenges, just trying to get to a debt-free life. So if you are new to the channel, thank you for watching and welcome. If you are a, a current subscriber, I can't begin to thank you enough and let you know how eternally grateful I am for um, your you subscribing and watching. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, you may or may not know that um, about a week and a half ago, we had COVID kind of go through our, our house pretty hard and heavy. Um, mostly the older people got it, you know, the me, my husband, and my mother-in-law. And then um, my son, Will, and his wife left for the entire week to try and get away from it. And they just, can, well, she got it Monday, I think she tested positive. And my son, Will, hasn't tested positive. He actually, I think, has the flu. So it's just been crazy. So you guys, be safe, be careful. As soon as you start having symptoms, for us, it was just a really, really, really bad cold, um, luckily. And um, I hope that you guys have had a great holiday, that you're looking forward to a prosperous new year. On Wednesdays, we stuff our mini savings challenges. And I, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm so sorry. I created these because I do the big box 100 envelope savings challenges as well. If you're new to the channel, you will um, see that these are um, created for people who don't, may not have a lot of extra money toward the end of the week or the end of the month. And I have all different kinds. Um, these are laminated actually, and I do offer the laminating and print option if you wish. So they would come to you looking like this. They're kind of plain to begin with, but as you color them, they kind of become, they kind of come to life, right? So I, I, you know, they're pretty plain Jane and simple, but they'll, they're in my Etsy shop and that'll be um, in the description below. So for a change, um, I'm going to actually start at the beginning. I usually start at the end and um, let me get organized and count the many and we'll just get started. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys have had some time to rest. Um, we are just kind of trying to catch up from the previous week where we couldn't get a lot of things done. And I actually have a little bit of extra money. Those of you that have followed me know that I try to stuff around $60 a week, um, which kind of represents what you might have at the end of every two weeks or at the end of every month. I have a little bit of extra money because of some extra Christmas money. So I'm actually gonna stuff 80 this week. Woohoo, 80. So let's count it. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 36, 77, 77, 8, 79, 80. So 80 whole dollars, <clears throat> which is more than I usually stuff. And um, for those of you that have been on my channel before, know that this money is um, kind of money that I've saved from um, tutoring. So I tutored a couple students, or several students actually, throughout the summer, and I just didn't know what to do with the money. I just kind of kept it in my bank account. And so now what I do is I continue to tutor and I um, pull this money out. But I had a little bit of extra in my wallet because of Christmas, so I thought, you know, what the heck, let's just do it. Okay, so we're going to start with the first one. This is an, um, an envelope savings challenge, but there's only 24 and the most you would put in here is $24. You just put in the amount that's on the envelope and when you're finished, you end up with 300. Well, I'm almost finished and I'm gonna stuff two today. So I'm gonna stuff 22 and 13. So that'll add up to 35. <clears throat> so sorry, y'all, I got a frog in my throat. So I said 22. <clears throat> There's 22. I'm so excited to finish this. 22 and 13, that's what I said. Woo, yay, 13. Look, only two more left. Two more left and I'll have 300. That has happened really fast. So 35, um, I think I'll go 20. 30, and I'll take these five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So there you go. So what about you guys? Is anybody else doing any of these mini savings challenges? I have a lot of people that have reached out to me and said they've started one or two and um, they're almost finished. Of course, I'm doing, I'm spreading 60 to $80 across several challenges, but you guys pick one 
pour as much money as you can into it because you could get to $300 a lot faster than I could if I'd taken my $60 a week and just put it into one or two savings challenges. I'm just doing this so I can show you guys. So let's count. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So 260. So exciting. Yay, yay, yay. And that's right, because when I add up 19 and 21, that's $40. That'll get me to three. Wow, that's just crazy. Okay, the next challenge is the heart one. It's called Something I Love, right? And this could be for anything. Um, you can make the hearts be any denomination you, what you want. Right now, mine are $5 a piece. So, um, let's do red. And when I finish with this, I'll end up with $120. But you can make these $1 a piece. You can make these $10 a piece. Doesn't matter. I wanted to keep that kind of open so you can decide. There was um, another budgeter that I was watching who actually rolled a dice and they put that number or rolled a die. I guess it's no a dice. And they would just put that number in there. So you can make it a game too. And they were doing it with their kids, which I think is really cool. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. And some people do a $5 um, dollar, um, savings challenge where they take the money out of their wallets and they put it in a $5 envelope. This could be, you know, your $5 savings challenge if you want. Okay. Next is the rainy day fund. I'm actually trying to have this be something that supplements my emergency fund, which I do have as another envelope for, but this is one way to do it. And this is gonna be um, for $10 a piece. Each rainbow is $10. So let's do, let me see if I can find like a blue. Uh, I'll do red again. You know decisions. There we go. It's been great. If you all haven't watched some of the other YouTube budgeters out there, there have been a bunch that have been uploaded this week. Um, the content is amazing. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, please, please do. There's so much to be learned from everybody in this community. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 130 already. And people have been kind of asking me what I'm going to do with this. So I love watching Lisa Grateful Me. She takes all of her savings challenges. She does a lot of savings challenges, and they're so darn cute. And once she fills one or fulfills one, she takes that savings challenge and she puts it into sinking funds, which, you know, like medical or dental or um, travel or Christmas. And that's something I had thought about doing as well. So I'll either do that or if I add up all of these when I'm finished it would be enough for me to get a laptop because I have a desktop at home and I have a work laptop, but I don't have a personal laptop anymore. But if I save all of these things, I could have enough for a laptop. So I just might do it. So the 100, these are 10 weeks or 10 deposits. I've already done the 100. I fulfilled that weeks ago. So the 251, I'm actually just putting in $10, even though there isn't a, um, a $10 kind of slot. I don't have $40 at a time or $30 at a time, so I'm just kind of changing the rules. And I just add what I have. So when I add another $10 here, it fulfills this $40 kind of deposit. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So all I'm gonna do is just highlight this for now because I know that I've done that. And I'm gonna add another 10. Let me go ahead and just do I'll just do two fives. And let's count it. 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So $130 is sitting in here, even though I've not been able to put the exact denominations that it asks for. And you know, you guys, you just need to give yourself, yourself some grace. I mean, ideally, you would put in $40 next or $30 next and so forth. But if you don't have the money, it's better to stuff something, right, than nothing. So this is the big one. This one's $400 when you finish. This one's been difficult as well because I've been trying to finish this um, envelope savings challenge. But starting um, not next week, but the week after, when I'm done with this, oops, sorry, when I'm done with this, I'll be able to put more back here. I hope that makes sense. 
So for this one, I'm going to add, what do I have left over? I'm gonna, I said I was gonna add 10 to this, so same thing, this fulfills this 40 right here. Let me add this 10. And when I add the 10, I end up with 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15, 20. So 120 in here. I mean, $400 is a lot, so you've just gotta be patient or just pick one and decide. I'm gonna just stick with the 400. I'm gonna stick whatever I have left over. If I decide not to get coffee today, I take the $5 or $6 I would spend on coffee and I put it in here. I mean, there's lots of ways to do this. So I have $10 left over. I think I'm gonna put it in the Winter Savings Challenge. Now this comes from Lisa Grateful Me. And when you order from her, you get the Savings Challenge downloadable printable. Isn't that the cutest? Oh, so cute. And you also get an envelope that you can make. And I kind of um, laminated part of it just because I'll just tear it up. And I have $10, so I think I'll actually, and there's room for fives, but I think I'll actually do a $10 spot just because it'll make me feel like, you know, I'm putting more in there. So I'm going to color in the $10 snowflake. And we'll add it in here. I haven't added it in here in a while. 10, 20, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this is the one I added, and I don't always get to put money in here because these have been my priority. As soon as I start filling up some of these, I'll start bumping um, the money down to the other savings challenges I haven't done yet. So if you're interested in this, I'll put her um, YouTube link and her Etsy shop link or, um, in the description box below so that maybe you can join me in um, some of these savings challenges. If you have purchased some, thank you so much. Leave a comment below on how it's going. I would love to know how you're doing. Um, has it been successful? Have you been able to see some some like momentum? Are you, are, have you, are you say, what are you saving for? Things of that nature. I love it when you guys comment and let me know how it's going. Okay, so that's video number two. I have two more videos, and if Will starts feeling better, the surprise video is going to be that he and I are going to stuff our 100 envelope savings challenge boxes together, because I'm so proud of him because he has decided to save diligently um, for some specific things that he and his wife are saving for, so I'm just so excited and so proud of him. Okay, have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.